Well, Goss's wilt is the most destructive bacterial disease in Minnesota and kind of the upper Midwest. At its worst, has been documented to contribute to 50% yield loss in corn. This year in particular, with the, you know, with a lot of uh, warm days and kind of an adequate amount of moisture, uh, we, we're seeing it pop up kind of all over the state, you know, even farther north than previously documented. You see it all the way, in, Goss's wilt infection causing issues in corn all the way as far north as Canada. Goss's wilt is characterized as a re-emerging problem. It was discovered, I believe, in 69 in Dawson County, Nebraska, in two cornfields there. And it, it, it kind of experienced a, a brief little bit of being on the forefront, but it kind of disappeared. But since the mid-2000s, mid it's kind of re-emerged as a, a problem, especially in the upper Midwest in corn. There is a, a range of resistance in corn hybrids and its effectiveness to Goss's wilt, um, but no hybrid is completely resistant. So my research is it's kind of a three-pronged approach. The research here in, in many cases can contribute directly to control mechanisms and you know, ultimately secure food source for the future. So we're looking for control measures, but they also have to be environmentally friendly, they have to be cost effective, they have to, you know, they have to be realistic. So if any of the research we're doing contributes to uh, control mechanisms that allow all those facets to be fulfilled, uh, we'll, we'll be happy with that.